uh, this is a really special uh, next guest because uh, we had him on the air before and I've been blowing his phone up to try to get him back on the air again. Uh, Leighton Croft is his name. He's the president and CEO of Pan Continental Resources or just PanCon if you'd like. PanCon. And you can go to PanConResources.com. Carolina Gold, Rusty. Nice. And they're uh, publicly traded under the stock symbol P-U-C-C-F. But he and I discussed it and he s decided to take it on the road and he is broadcasting live right now from a satellite from where Leighton well, Leighton where are you at hey Sully Rusty how y'all hey. doing good <laughs> it's like you're busy yeah where you at where are we seeing we here? are I'm on the top of a former gold mine in South Carolina in Chesterfield County okay. this is the Brewer Gold Project we are drilling and um, I'm standing right next to the drill it's on a break right now yeah but um this is where 178,000 ounces of oxide gold were produced we think that there's Lots, lots more under here, and uh, it's a great time to be in the gold exploration business. I'll, I'll say it. We, you, know, you talked about this last time with respect to you know, what is going to happen with gold because of the amount of money supply and so on and so forth happening. And, and with respect to all that, gold is only going to go up. Talk about when you guys are exploring and doing what you're, and, and doing what you're, what you're best at, how do you know when you're flying over a field like that that looks like a meadow to me and Russ, that that's the place to be because obviously you're right more than you're wrong so how do you guys know that stuff well it's a good question and this is a meadow this has all been reclaimed there's seven million metric tons of old sulfide ore that they put back in here but we know because we've tested it that there's gold and copper in there but here's the thing when you're in the gold exploration business the best place to find a gold mine is at a former gold mine it's that <laughs> simple yeah and i'm standing on a former gold mine so uh this the first gold rush, I mentioned this last time, Yeah. in all of North America, it was 200 years ago, right where I'm standing in South Carolina. Um, and then people went out west, and then we had a civil war. And so people didn't come back, but the gold's still here. So I suspect we're going to be seeing a gold rush. There's a lot of interest coming down to these parts. Uh, the price of gold, as you know, is set to explode. And if I could, Sully, let me just tell you three letters I like to think about when I think about the price of gold. Okay. D I Y. D I Y. Do, do it yourself, gold mine. Okay, tell us. Do it yourself. So D stands for debt. I stands for inflation. Yeah. And Y stands for yellow metal, which is our friend gold. So we've got we, we've we've got massive debt. We've got inflation because of the money supply, and that means have we should gold. turn to <laughs> the yellow gold. Is that right? Right. Well, I think so. And also, you're seeing a lot of volatility lately in Bitcoin and crypto, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of institutional investors, I think, are starting to rotate out of that into physical gold. You know, digital gold is Bitcoin. Um, and we're seeing a lot of wild swings lately. Uh, but gold, I think, is the safe bet. Um, and as though that rotation happens, I just think you're going to see more, more people coming into gold. Okay, so so when I think in terms of when I think in terms of what you guys are doing, um, it, it sort of seems like you found a, a best kept secret, and and I think a piece of that part partially is because you're looking where nobody else is looking. Uh, talk to us about the time from inception to fruition for you guys as a company, from where you are you know breaking up the ground now and and, and exploring and 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 mining to uh, to actually having it pay off for you as a company. Thanks, Sully. So the mining industry is, is divided kind of into two different groups. You got the explorers and the producer. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we lose them? Oh, I think we lost them. Gosh darn it. See, this is, so first of all, I love the fact that you got to see what, what, what it was. This is where our past guest could have helped him by having the big satellite there in the... Uh, That's exactly right. Yeah. Let me know when you get it back to him because I want to find out because what I want to know is how long it's going to take. By the way, his name is Leighton Croft. He is the president and CEO of a company by the name of Pan Continental Resources, PanCon, and uh, they are publicly traded under the stock symbol P-U-C-C-F and P-U-C. So uh, once again, Leighton, so break that down for us once again, talking to us from, how, right. from point A to point B. How do we get there? Sorry about that. I got so excited, my little headset popped out. <laughs> no worries. We're, so we're an exploration company. We're on the front lines, right? We take more risk, but we get more reward. So we're trading in the pennies. But when you see a good gold market and you see success with a good project like we have, you got a good, strong team like we've got, um, and the market conditions are right, it's the junior companies whose uh, share prices are going to outperform. But we, we, our job is to find. So we will drill. We will prove up a resource. That's our plan. 
Um, that then will come with economic studies, environmental studies, and then you do a bankable feasibility study. You raise the capital, you build a mine, and you operate a mine. So it is a long process, but one of the features of this particular site is there is a whole lot of waste rock in this old pit that I'm standing on I was telling you about. Yeah. I personally think there's at least 60,000 ounces in that waste rock. You don't need a mining permit uh, to remediate the waste. Um, in current metal prices, that's $110 million of value. Yeah, I was going to say 60,000 60, yeah. times, uh, what, 1884 is, the, is the current, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, I'm going to say you have the one, two, three, that's $113 million. Yeah. Dollars. Like right, but, and that's not even what we're really hunting for. That's just you the, know, what we're really, that's just the tippy that's top of the. That's just the crumbs on the table. Come on. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Because what we're doing is we're drilling under it and we're getting some great results. So. Our goal is to prove up a resource under that, but if we can get a fast track to cash flow, it's even better. Hello. Where are you flying to next? Venezuela? When do we get to see you next? <laughs> what, what, what man on the street section are you going to do next time? Uh, this, is, this is fantastic. Leighton, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, his name is Leighton Croft, president there. and CEO I'll of be. Pancon Resources. You can go to their website, panconresources.com. But Carolina Gold, mm -hmm. the former uh, champion of gold mining in, uh, in, the, in the world. Carolina Gold. Not, not